our third presenter is Gaurav Balakrishnan, whose title is Gelatin-Based Diagnostic Edible Electronics. $136 billion. That is a staggering annual cost borne by patients and the healthcare system to treat, diagnose, and monitor gastrointestinal diseases, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, and several types of cancer. Patients suffering from such conditions often require frequent visual monitoring of their digestive tracts and retrieval of tissue samples via an endoscope, a long tubular probe. For context, there are over 50 million endoscopies performed in the United States each year, and a patient with chronic gastrointestinal illnesses might need an endoscopy once every two to three months. As a result, there's considerable, as you can imagine, endoscopies are painful procedures that can, um, that can cause discomfort to a patient. As a result, there's considerable interest in designing electronic capsules to replace endoscopies. For, uh, there are over 50, sorry, uh, I apologize. This idea is validated by a $550 million market for capsule endoscopies in the United States today. However, capsule endoscopies currently on the market are composed of the same type of electronics that make up your phones and your computers. That is, they are rigid and non-degradable. This creates the risk of obstruction or tissue damage if they were to get stuck as it's being swallowed. My research leverages the intersection of material science, biomedical engineering, and electronics to design soft and degradable electronic capsules. To do this, we start by designing a class of jello or gelatin-based materials with highly tunable mechanical and degradation characteristics. Next, we develop techniques to transfer electronics typically fabricated on rigid silicon wafers onto our soft gelatin materials. And lastly, we picked a specific medical application as a first test of our edible electronics platform. We design sensors that can quantitatively measure how closely packed the cells of the digestive tract lining are. In a healthy patient, we expect these cells to be very tightly packed, whereas multiple gastrointestinal diseases can induce an increased intercellular spacing. We have tested our devices with both um, artificial and animal-based tissue models, and we are currently working with doctors at the University of Pittsburgh to test these in humans in the short term. I believe that the exciting research I'm showing you today will serve as a blueprint for the next generation of pain-free, low-profile, and most importantly, patient-centric edible electronics for diagnosis and therapy. Thank you.